Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a border collie, which was a request I received. I've also had a request for a tri-coloured border collie, which I'll be doing soon. Today, instead of using the black, which is really hard for you to see, I'll use a brownie colour. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 18cm wide by 16.5cm high or 7 inches wide by 6.5 inches high, this medium border collie crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 11cm wide by 10cm high or 4.5 inches wide by 4 inches high. This small border collie crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7.5cm wide by 7.5cm high or 3 inches wide by 3 inches high. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be a bit smaller than the large one but I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White, 157 Root Beer, 105 Bridal White, 518 Marshmallow, just a tiny bit for the tongue, 110 Black, a tiny bit for the nose, and I'll use the tiniest bit of black thin cotton for the side of the tongue. I've got sequins for the eyes, but on the smaller border collies I use black beads. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. I'm starting at the top of the head. I've got the 157 the root beer and I start with 8 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 7 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring through a loop. We've got two loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. So one single crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch then we work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch we'll work 2 single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 9 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. 
So after our two single crochet into the first stitch, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 11 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bar weight we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a join single crochet over the following two stitches. That's for the first side. And then for row 10 we start with one chain and turn 
and to work a joined single crochet row for the two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the first side done. Now for this second side, we join our yarn to the second last stitch of row 10. So this stitch here and work 3 chain. We're going to work a join double crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a joined double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as our join and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, we've got three loops on the hook, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. And that's a head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet and one chain in each stitch up around the top and down to the point here. So a single crochet and a chain. So just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. And then a single crochet and a chain. I'm going to work over the top of the tail there. So I'll hold it against my work and just work over the top of it. The chain in between the single crochets just gives it a little bit more of a shaggy look. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the point there. Now I'm just down from the corner there so I'm going to just slip stitch into the corner. So I put my hook in to that last stitch and bring through a loop and I'll fasten off. So I slip my hook and yarn through. And that's the head done. Now we're going to start on the right ear now, this one here. So we join just in that top corner there. We're joining our 157, the root ear. And we work 7 chain. We work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Then we work a join single crochet over the next two stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. And then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. It can be a bit hard to get through. And then put then we're working one half double crochet into the last stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook 
and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we slip stitch into the side of the head, two stitches down from our join and fasten off. We'll work our left ear now. We join the 157, the root beer, two stitches down from the top. So just in here and work four chain. We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch and then Slip stitch into the head, two stitches up from our join. Work one single crochet into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. Now that's the head part done. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my 105 the bridal bight and work this little section just in here. Now there's the head. I'm going to join my bridal bight in the same stitch as the last bit stitch in there. So that's stitched there but I'm going to leave quite a long tail to use for the neatening row. So for row 1 I start with 2 chain and I'm going to work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. I'm going to crochet over the top of the tail for the first stitch just to hold it down and then leave it out after that. So I've got my joined half double crochet and then I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and turn my work and I'm going to work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. and I fasten off for the neatening row using the tail I left I bring it to the front and I work one slip stitch in each stitch around the bridal white section and then I fasten off. And that's the head complete. Now for the blaze I've got my 106 the Snow White and I start with 6 chain
I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into our last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So that's the same stitch as our last part of the joined single crochet in the last two stitches. So put the hook into the same stitch as the last joined single crochet and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. Then we work five chain. For row four we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet in each remaining chain. And then I'm going to spin the to top part round and slip stitch in that first stitch. And that's the blaze without the neatening row. For the neatening row we're just going to neaten around that bottom part. So I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up around the bottom that bottom part. I'll try not to pull it too tight so it stays flat. And once I get to where I started the chain, I fasten off. And that's the blaze done. For the nose, I've got my 110, the black, and I start with 4 chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One double crochet in the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. And one single crochet into the last stitch. and I fasten off. And that's the nose. For the tongue, I've got my 518, the marshmallow. 
and I start with six chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. I work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then I'm going to work into the back of the chain up the other side. So I work one single crochet in each stitch up the other side. I'm going to crochet over the tail. And I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my black. I'll use a, a finer black cotton but you could use the black from the same as the nose and we'll work that tiny little bit of black on the side of the tongue. Now for the marking on the tongue I've got my black and I join at the tip of the tongue, just the other side. And I'm going to work one slip stitch into the back loop only of the next three or four stitches round the side. I'll do it into the fourth as well, just to get about halfway down the side of the tongue. So it depends where your join was as to how many you'll need. So it's about halfway down the tongue. So that's the tongue finished. I'll start on the front of the body now. I've got my one 06 of Snow White and I start with 9 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain I'll have 8 stitches Row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn my work. I work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. I work 2 single crochet in the last stitch and I'll have 9 stitches. So work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. We'll have nine stitches.
For row 4, we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 12 stitches. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. 
So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a join single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 12 stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 11 stitches. For row 15 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have 11 stitches. So after my two single crochet in the first stitch Work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two left. And 
and I work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 I start with one chain and turn. I work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 11 stitches. So after my joined single crochet I work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 12 stitches. We're starting on this leg here now, so for row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch.
For row 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 27 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. And for row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms, and one single crochet into the last stitch, and we fasten off. And that's the front of the body and the first leg done. For the second leg, we join our 106, the snow white, to the third last stitch. So this stitch here. And work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. Then we work four chain. That's for the foot part. For row eight, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. And a joined single crochet over the two stitches of the leg. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now that's the front of the body and the front legs done. 
We don't turn or fasten off. For our neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to slip stitch in each stitch around the legs and we'll work one single crochet and one chain in each stitch around the body. So slip stitch in each stitch around the legs. Now I'm up to the body, I'll work one single crochet and one chain in each stitch around to the top of the second leg. Now I'll continue around the body and I'll work the slip stitch in each stitch around this leg and I'll be back when I get to the bottom of this first leg. I'm at the top of the first leg, I just need a bit of shaping along the bottom there. So I'm going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A single crochet into the next stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch in each stitch up to the beginning of the row. And I fasten off. And that's the front of the body done. Now for the back of the body I'm starting at the top at the back there. I've got my 157 the root beer and I work four chain. For row one, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. 
I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have seven stitches. So after the two single crochet in the first stitch work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 3 single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our 3 single crochet into the first stitch Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we'll work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We're going to work 2 half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet in the first stitch work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet into the first stitch work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with two chain and turn. We're going to work three half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 16 stitches.
for row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each of the first six stitches. And then one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For bow weight we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into each of the first eleven stitches. and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For bow 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 15 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 14 stitches. For bow 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 14 stitches.
For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So after our joined single crochet over the first two stitches, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're starting on this little back section here. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. For row 14 we start with 2 chain and turn. We're going to work a joined half double crochet over the first 3 stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. We've got lots of loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of our joined half double crochet. Then we work three chain and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the second last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got two loops on the hook, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops on the hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And we turn our work over and we'll start on this second side. Now we miss the first stitch after the first side and join into the following stitch. And we work one chain. We work one single crochet into the same stitch as our join and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have eight stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 8 stitches. For row 3 
we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches, and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the four stitches. So we put a hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got five loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one chain and we turn our work and we're going to work a neatening row. Our neatening row is going to be one single crochet and one chain in each stitch up around the top and down to the point of that first section. So one single crochet and one chain in each stitch until we get to the point. So I'll work around till nearly the point and I'll be back. Now onto the stitch before the point. I slip stitch into the point and fasten off. And that's the back of the body done. Now for these back legs I've got my 106 the snow white and I start with 8 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 7 stitches. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 stitches.
For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 4, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 8 stitches. So work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And then I join single crochet over the next two stitches. That's the first part of the leg. And for row 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch and we work 3 chain. That's for the foot part. For row 10 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 remaining chain. and a joined single crochet over the two stitches of the bottom of the leg. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. For the second leg we join the snow white to the second last stitch just in there and work one chain. We work one single crochet into the same stitch as the chain and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn 
and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch and we'll work three chain for the foot. For row 6 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. and a joined single crochet over the two stitches at the bottom of the leg. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the legs done except for the neatening row. We don't turn and we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch right around the legs. So I'll continue with that, the neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. I'm back to the beginning of the row so I'll fasten off. And that's the back legs. That's all the pieces worked. So I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and I'll show you how to put it together. Now there's all the pieces. I've got the front of the body, the back of the body, the head, the muzzle, the nose, the tongue and the back legs. The first things I'll do is attach the nose to the muzzle just in there and I'll attach the front of the body just over the top of the back of the body. So just in there, I only overlap it a tiny bit, so just in like that. It goes just to the part where the leg goes out. Next I attach the tongue in behind the muzzle. The Where I've got the black goes to the corner of the muzzle and it kind of slopes down like that. And I'll attach the back legs in behind the back of the body, just in like that. Next I attach the muzzle to the head, just in about there. The tongue goes lower than the creamy part of the head. Next I'll attach sequins for the eyes to the head. In about there and I'll embroider a white dot in the centre of the sequins. For the smaller collies I used a black bead instead of the sequins. The last thing I do is attach the head to the body. The side part goes even with the white bit and the head is just slightly above the top of the white part. So in about there. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back to show you the finished collie dog. And there's the finished border collie. The size is 12 and a half centimetres wide by 12 and a half centimetres high or 5 inches by 5 inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. 
I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.